Hey man, so um, I forgot to just record your video. Interesting question. Uh, so yeah, I would probably um, well uh, for animations like this, you want to first block out the poses where you want them to be. So for example, on pose one, just thinking it's better to animate the whole thing or not. Maybe the whole thing's better to animate. Oh, let's give it a shot. I'm just gonna do it live for you. So let's say the start position is something like this. Let's move him down a bit. Don't forget to keyframe all these guys. I'm just hitting F8 on my keyboard. And the hands, just to make it easier for now, we're gonna switch these guys to FK. So that we're gonna just keep them nice and tucked in. You can animate them after we get the, oops, the main movement done. So, so just basically quick on, I would, so let's say first we need them to sit down and squat. Probably need to animate the hands, but do that later. And then on 20, we want him to be pointing forward. So. Or even here, he can be pointing. Scroll this down a bit. Here, he can be pointing forward. And on 20, we want him to maybe here. And then on 40, he can be rotating maybe to here. And then on 50, <laughs> he will be here and maybe on the ground. So. Well, that didn't work. Um, my guess is that we need another keyframe here. So let's delete this guy for a second. And then on frame 50, we have him landing like this. Ah, I know the problem. It's because we have here in your coordinates, you want to turn this on. And now we should have, there you go, oh, we have a nice rotation. So he jumps. And for the legs, just select both of them for now. So basically here, when he jumps off, we're still on the ground. And then as he moves, we move them up as well and rotate them around. So actually, you can probably switch to FK here, but eh, this should work pretty. <laughs> yeah, this rotation is, <laughs> hmm. Oh, they also need Quaternion. Duh. Controls, Quaternion. <laughs> okay, maybe. Need some more intermediary points for the legs. There you go. And then you need to be here. And <laughs> rotate it in. <laughs> this is such a bad animation, but I think you get the point of what can be done. Maybe also here we should, let's keyframe his neck here and then keyframe it here. And then here we should rotate this in a bit. There you go, so he's not quite Okay, so you might want to work out, work on the timing a bit because, so for example, here this leg is way too far out. Let's drag it in. And move it also like this. And here that's too far away. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, here you might want to also pull these guys out a bit. There you go, and then the body when it hits the ground, you want it to go a bit forward and get back up. Maybe this leg. Well, I just control click if I want to keyframe this position on a different frame and then move him back a bit. And well, 
it's not the prettiest animation, but I think this is just basically after this, it's just a matter of tweaking stuff. Like for example, here, you probably want to keyframe this. And when he jumps forward, you probably want to rotate this guy in so that he jumps. And maybe even more here. Maybe this guy as well, I control click on the back frame there and so that he jumps and, and maybe keyframe here and then here we're gonna tilt the X and this guy as well, we're gonna keyframe back here and tilt the X. So there you go, so now you have a, and then you time these guys out and you have your little somersault animation. Um, but what I would recommend honestly to do is uh, block these guys in, not here. When you put keyframes, you can block stuff. Instead of having a smooth spline animation, you should do keyframe blocking, which is basically if you press control, uh, control D and go to key interpolation, you can switch this to step. And then you basically keyframe every little frame, like not every little frame, but individual positions. So you have those key positions and you see how it looks like a flip book. So like if we go to shift F3 basically and select all of these keyframes and we change them here to step. We basically have, oops, wait. Can I go in a step? Oops, H. Okay, for some reason not all of them are going in a step. So let's select all of them and go. There you go. Some of them are still curvy. What is that? Oh, because they're quaternion. Okay, so quaternions can't go to step. Interesting, did not know that. So let's switch these guys back to temporarily to the regular ones. So now as you'll see, you get the kind of flipbook animation where you pose each frame out. And then once you get that looking good, then you can switch them to linear and you can figure out how to move all the animations and you can turn the quaternion on. So, uh, but that's a whole animation lesson in itself, but I hope this helps. Um, I mean, you could also probably, let's go revert to saved. Um, yeah. You could also probably just, I mean, let's switch our hands to FK again. Um, so let's keyframe him in. Hey, this thing. Wait, so I keyframed him with ah, zero keyframe. Let's go ten. So he did up, jumps like this, and then he jumps up. And we should probably let's see if we can use it with this one on twenty. So actually, what you want to do is you want to make another null. So make a null. Um, and before you put any keyframes and put it in the center of gravity, what you want to rotate him to rotate around and put it in the hierarchy here and call this five man rotator and just dump all your controllers into there. And now if you keyframe this controller here and then let's say we move to 40 and we make him go up and rotate. Oh, this is, well, that's probably why. Yeah, okay. So then he kind of jumps and he rotates and you want to rotate him all the way around and then wherever he lands. So jumps like this. <laughs> so as you can see, and then he lands, then you put him back to the ground. Well, maybe in this frame, you want him back on the ground. And then you also keyframe his hip and you make it go down further. So it kind of gets that elasticity and then back up. So, and also here, obviously you can also select these guys and you can do rotate and make sure this thing is turned on and then you can keyframe them in. Maybe actually, so here, till uh, reset PSR them all with keyframes. So then you go, you can see curls in and then maybe keyframe them here and then reset PSR again. <laughs> so that's another way of doing it. Obviously move the arms into a better place, but I think this one looks a bit better. Anyway, stuff to experiment with.